Welcome back, Wildling Colin here, the Wild CEO, for another of our foundational principles of health. Today's all about nature, how and why you should be getting back to nature for your health and longevity. We know for sure that humans belong in nature because that's where we came from. And we know for sure that our modern environments have had a negative effect on our health. I mean, just look at the numbers. There's even things with kids called nature deficit disorder and a lot of other things I won't go into today. What I want you to do is I want you to build into your health routine, getting back into nature. There's a few ways you can do this so that you can systematize it and turn it into a routine, into a habit. And there's some things you might wanna include, might not. So these are some of my recommendations for getting outside on a daily basis and your health, as well as your mental sanity <laughs> is going to benefit from it. So the first thing is let's aim for 30 minutes to an hour being outside. Let's try to walk around barefoot. Let's try to walk around maybe in a bathing suit or with minimal clothing on so that we can get a lot of vitamin D exposure. Let's go outside without sunglasses because that's also how we can stimulate a lot of vitamin D. Let's pick things up. Let's touch things. Let's grab things. Let's get dirty. This is how you build your immune system. This is how you interact with nature. Eating dirt is good for you. Although I'm not saying you should do that here because there's a lot of other things, but generally having some dirt on your fingernails and then it gets into your food, not being hyper sterilized is a principle of health. So what this might look like is you go outside, you walk around, maybe with just your shorts on or a bathing suit, you don't have sunglasses on, you don't have audio on, you don't have your phone, you're just listening, observing and interacting with nature. Maybe you walk, maybe you climb, maybe, maybe you crawl, maybe you lay in the grass, maybe you sit. There's a lot of different ways to do this. The closer that you can get to nature where you're touching it, feeling, interacting, it's all over your body, the better off you're going to be. Go out and observe the sounds, listen to what's going on. Try to identify where the bird is chirping or the grasshoppers or the mosquitoes or whatever you see, try to try to identify, look at it, pay attention, be in the moment, be present, move, take a walk, meander, and also lay on the ground, sit on the ground, get your feet dirty, your hands dirty. The more you can do this all, the better you're gonna be. It's hard to quantify where the results gonna come from, but if you did this every day for a week, just say, I'm gonna get outside 30 minutes, I'm gonna try to get sun exposure into my eyes and on my skin. I'm gonna walk around barefoot. I'm gonna touch things. I'm gonna grab things. I'm gonna get a little dirty. And maybe I'm not gonna wash my hands off the second I come inside. Or maybe I'm only gonna use some water to rinse off. So I have a lot of those beneficial bugs still on my body. Watch how your sleep improves. Watch how your calmness improves. Watch how your mental sanity and your stress reduces and improves. Watch how literally everything in your health gets better. And we're talking seven days. Some people might be able to notice a change in a day or two. A day or two of direct vitamin D production through sunlight, which is gonna give you something like 10,000 to 15,000 IU, can literally change your life. Vitamin D deficiency is on the rise. It's a huge thing. People are staying inside. In our modern environment, they're afraid. They think that their sterile environment with temperature controlled and there's sanitizer and soap everywhere, they think that's gonna protect them but it actually doesn't. It has a reverse effect. The more sterile you create an environment, the more you remove the protections you have of the good bugs and the more you become a Petri dish for the bad bug. It's not good, it's not good stuff. There's a lot of really bad ideas around cleanliness and germs and whatever. And most people don't know this, but you are actually more bacterial cells than human cells. Most people don't know this. Your body is actually more bacteria than it is human. It's all around you things you can't see. It's in everything. Bacteria is in your gut. It's in your mouth. It's everywhere. It's part of your biology. Part of, if you removed all the bacteria from your body, you die instantly, period. We need a healthier relationship to nature and bacteria in general. And that's a topic for another day. It's very broad and complex. We're just now starting to understand the importance of the gut microbiome, et cetera. Without going into all that, if you just start getting outside and you start exposing yourself to nature, you're gonna get a bunch of these downstream benefits and you're gonna get a bunch of these immediate benefits because you're gonna feel better. You're gonna feel better immediately. You're gonna get vitamin D going. You're gonna start supporting your microbiome instead of trying to sterilize it away, depending on where you are on the spectrum, whether you're super vitamin D deficient, whether you never go outside, whether you're stressed all the time, depending on the level where you're at, you might see drastic benefits. For me, I just generally feel better and I sleep better when I go outside. Now, during winter time, this past winter, for example, it's very cold, I didn't go outside as much. I got sick a couple of times and I generally didn't feel that good and I didn't have a lot of energy and I should have forced myself to go outside. So do something with this information today, get outside, start a either morning routine, an afternoon routine, something, or go outside multiple times a day. Break it up if you have to. Your health is going to thank you. I'll see you in the next one.